So, but you guys have a good night, okay? Yeah. Thank you, officer. And check out. Do you have any of the doc, the, the, mag, the magistrate literature? No, I don't. Okay. Check out um, uh, d d defytyrants.com. Or, or about the lesser magistrate doctrine, which applies to civil servants like yourself. Because what it basically says is that when a higher ranking civil authority makes unjust or immoral law, uh, law edicts or court opinions, um, in this case the Supreme Court, then it's the uh, lower ranking civil authority, such as a police officer, has not only the, the uh, right but the duty to refuse to obey that, that law and if necessary to actively resist it. Well, right now we don't have anything like that on the books that uh, we have uh, that we can do anything about. Well, in regards to? So, like, uh, the laws that police actually deal with, we don't have anything on the Good books company. like that. Okay? If you're talking about abortion rights and all that kind of well, stuff. What I'm saying is this, this is actually not legal to do this to children. We, we think it is because of the Roe v. Wade. We, we think it, we think it is because of the Roe v. Wade court opinion. But the Roe v. Wade is not Roe v. Wade is not law. It's, it's an opinion of a court who, who does not does not have the constitutional jurisdiction. What I'm saying is, is, is that that would be under the FBI's jurisdiction. It would not be under city police. But but, so but you have you have jurisdiction to to appeal to the governor and to protect these children. Uh, I actually don't have any rights as far as uh, my free speech is stripped from me as a police officer. But, but so not are you are you are you, are you, are you a Christian? Any of the stuff. Are you are you a Christian? There are some communities challenging that with sanctuary cities and marijuana laws in in, in states and things like that. But so I they are actually it. so for me to be completely unbiased with yeah. stuff, I cannot be out voicing my opinion and saying what I believe to people because that's just not right. I'm a figure of authority. My job is to keep people safe, keep the peace, and make sure people don't break laws, right? So that's my job. In order for me to do my effective way and actually be of service to the most amount of people, it's best that we don't voice our opinions and that we do not uh, get involved in stuff like that. Like we vote, obviously, but we don't see anyone in a police uniform at a rally of any kind or anything like that saying that they're a cop and they believe in this because that's just not right it's not something that we should be doing as police officers because regardless of which way you believe right um sometimes people get drastic biases versus someone just for a way that they believe right we can there was all an officer named chuck gallagher who actually in uniform Stood with the people blocking an abortion clinic back in the, the rescue uh, days. Back in 1989, January 1989. And that is something that occurred, yeah, but shouldn't have. No, well, no, no, no he did the right thing. Your own, your he did, he did the right thing as a police officer. Because he actually said, I encourage you to watch his interview about this, Ch Chuck Gallagher. He actually said that the uh, Christians who were rescuing that day, back in January 1989, that they're actually doing his job helping him in his duty because police officers you're called to serve and protect not only born people but pre-born people and police officers all, pretty much none of them are doing that they're serving and protecting born people that's because our rights are limited because we're police but it shouldn't be limited not just because the supreme court says that it's okay to murder children that's what i'm saying you need to, to defy tyrants to defy those who, are, who, who go, who go I, against god's law i gave up rights in order to get police powers. That's what I did, in order to actually protect people, save people's lives, all that kind of stuff, which I've done multiple times in this job. I've got 12 years on, I've seen horrible, horrible, horrible sure things. Have. And I cannot, the way I look at it, and the way I see and the way I understand it, and I do agree that we should not be putting our views out there as police officers because if someone sees me on TV being one way and then I'm the police officer that comes to their house because, there's, because their son's dying, that's going to cause a major issue. I need to be as blanket or blank as possible as far as I'm just a uniform. Other than obviously like emotions and all that kind of stuff and sympathy for people in order for people to, uh, in order for me to help the most amount of people and reach the greatest amount of diversity of people without any issues.
because I need people to actually trust me and believe that I'm going to do the right thing for them. So political views and statements tend to get in the way of that. Also religious. Now, I am a religious person. I do have my own religion and all that kind of stuff, but I don't talk about it on the job. You can. I've had police officers tell me they were Christians and strong Christians. Yeah, look for a group called Oath Keepers as well, too, because they, they'll tell you that as an officer, your oath is to the Constitution. Correct. So, you know, whether you're being told to do something that's unconstitutional, that's, then you don't have to obey that directive. And that's the, that's the whole thing of the Nuremberg trials after Nazi Germany, too. They were following the laws. They were the laws of the land that they were under, but they were still found guilty after the, the war because they didn't follow the true law. Well, I will let you guys go because it yeah. is cold. Yeah, appreciate <laughs> you. Check, check, check that out. Doctrine of the Lesser Magistrates. Go get some tea or some hot cocoa, all right? DefyTyrants.com. Eh, and... Hey, thank you. Check that out. DefyTyrants.com. All right. Y'all have a wonderful night. I'll see you